Yo, it's Smallmouth Crush. It's springtime. And we're gonna go try to find some largemouth. Some largemouth down south and down in Alabama. My buddy Ryan. We've been catching a few smallies down here. And we thought we would uh, shoot a little video on some largemouth fishing today. And I think we might be able to get into a few of them. It's all coming up. So early afternoon, temperatures are, are awesome. You know, I, it's been pretty cold up where I live. Coming down here, we got 60 degree temps today. And these fish are moving, right? Moving up. Moving up, in the to bays. go. Trap and chatter bait. What okay. you got there, oil? You got some oil, who, mercury. Who uses oil anymore? I don't have a force truck. Oh, you will soon, bro. Thank you. Keep the faith. Well, I think we're in trouble. He had to go to the store to buy these two uh, lipless crankbaits. I don't know if that means that's the hot color. Something I wanted to try. Or maybe he doesn't own any lipless crankbaits at all. It's a new thing I'm trying. What, learning how to throw a lipless crankbait? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get better at it, you know? Yeah, it's, it's pretty hard. No, it's awesome, and we're going to teach you guys how to catch massive bags of largemouth bass in the early spring on lipless crankbaits today. Maybe if we get lucky, a smallmouth. Oh, Thanks. all right. Are you kidding me? Look at that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Dude, rattle trapping in the spring. I wonder what color. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Stud. I think we're gonna have fun today. Boom. <laughs> so this guy was staring at us catching those fish. And uh, because he had a rubber neck, he beached his boat pretty bad. So he may expect us to come over and save him now. Oh my God. He's stuck. He ain't alive. He is stuck. Oh he, he could not take his eyes off of the graph and us as he punched in waypoint after waypoint. <laughs> and now he's stuck. We're gonna have to confront him if he, if if he's gonna want our help getting that boat off. We're gonna have to interview him. Yeah. All right. So, so talk to me. We uh, th thrown lipless. Yep. You decided to go back to the uh, true bass swim bait. Yeah, we were throwing a lipless and it was just so shallow. And we got some really good reaction bites right off the bat. I mean, and you could tell there was more fish in there because you hooked one and lost one. And we just were, we quit getting bites. So a really stealthy way to sneak up on those fish. And we saw actually shad flicking. Mm -hmm. So I went and got that belly weighted owner sure. beast hook. Same bait we were using at the dam for smallmouth. And it didn't take long, got a bump, power pulled down, made the same cast. He actually hit it two or three times. I'm pretty sure there's a pods of fish chasing bait on this flat. And um, finally hooked up on one and we lost two more. And um, definitely, Pretty sneaky little deal. Yes, yes. Throw one behind your rattle traps. Well, let's see if you can get one. Thanks, man. Dude, I think we're on some fish. 
Travis. <laughs> epic. Giant. Epic. Wow. Wow. Now that you want it. I ain't gonna fuck. Oh, you're behind your travel traps in my Okay, bait. okay. Good. We both got them. <laughs> oh, no, your bait's pulling on my bait. I know I'm not pulling. I hate pulling. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Stud! <laughs> That's a pig. Oh my gosh! Oh. Pickwick Lake, dude. It doesn't. I mean, that is a solid five and three quarter pounder, yeah. and all of eighteen inches long. Yeah. So, can you talk about that that lipless crankbait a little bit? So this is a TN70 by Jackal, and we like it on muscle beds on the Tennessee River because it's got this hard nose. Man, oh, I just sorry, girl. Okay, see this hard tungsten nose? Yep. See, it's been digging. It just digs and tuk, 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 tuk. Sure. keeps those hooks out of the rocks. I gotcha. Get your big old pig like this. Nice. Epic day. <laughs> 25 pounds of smallmouth and then 25 of largemouth. Let's go. Come on. You ain't leaving yet. I'm gonna say no to the figuring. No, dude, we're figuring. Oh, it's not even on. It isn't? No. no we're figuring it out. Biggin. Biggin. Little guy, come on, let go. If I hold him like that, does he look big? No. Yeah, he does. I'm gonna throw him right back out there. That fish interrupted me. The 70s are 5 8 and the 60s are 3 8 And we've thrown both. Yeah, there he is. I saw that. It's a good one, huh? Yeah. It just shows you how effective making the same cast is. Sure. Over and over again when you know there's a fish there. Yeah. I mean, he's not huge, but he's it's not, a fish. He's absolutely a fish. <laughs> it looks like it's got a big old gut on it. Pre-spawn. Look how fat this fish is. I mean, nice. guys. If and that really, doesn't show you how effective that bait, look how fat that fish is. Yeah, right. Pretty and really sharp hooks too. Extremely sharp. I mean, when you're tying on the bait, it's going to catch your knuckles. Look right there. It cut me while I was tying on the bait. <laughs> so you don't really need to exchange the hooks unless you want to do a triple grip for certain situations. Right, right now, these fish are kind of slapping at it too. Yep. So I had two slaps that cast threw back mm -hmm. out there. Caught, I mean, that's a two and a quarter pound, 14 inch fish. I mean, it's so fat. Mm -hmm. But if you'll notice, it's got a four and a six on the back hook. If you upgrade them, you can you can do two fours if you're around a lot bigger fish, or you can do a four and a six. Gotcha. But gotcha. it's a TN70. Obviously, it works, guys. Absolutely. When you come into con, there's another one. There Biggin. you go. Biggin. Is it? Biggin. I'm telling you right now, this is a giant. Oh ho ho! Giant. Dude. Giant. All right, we're gonna grab the net for this guy. He's under the boat. Here he comes. Yep. Oh wow. Got him. Oh, we come off of the net. That's why we netted him. Wow. This is what you come to Pickwick Lake for. <laughs> Giants. Giants. Dude. That's good. Oh my gosh. We have well over 30 pounds today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it was pretty okay, good. Okay, it's not a 10, but it's a solid eight and a half. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> God. Wow, oh, that thing is heavy. Good job That's on the awesome. net, Trav. Yeah. Biggin. Cool, cool. They're obviously up there feeding right now. Let's see. Um, thank you so much for getting the net, Travis. I know it's against your religion, <laughs> but I feel like it might have put an eight pounder in the boat for right, us. Right, right. I don't care that this is tangled up right now. We got a big one in the boat. <laughs> this is definitely a downside to using a net, but this net is so good, it does not penetrate through it. All right, so you got that out pretty quick. There you go. All right, here we go. Whew. Round two. Tighten that drag back up. I loosened it Dang, so she would bro. pull off. All right, here we go. Do you think I could maybe fish or instead of holding the camera? I mean, I mean you might I mean, be able to. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. It's getting a little insane.
Well, I had a blast fishing with Ryan. Now, Ryan guides full-time on the Tennessee Rivers from Gundersville to Pickwick and everything in between. I encourage you to check out his website, Alabama Bass Guides. Also, don't forget to follow him on Instagram, AL Bass Guide, as well as his YouTube channel. He can put you on some fish. We had a blast, man. It was so much fun. Fish after fish. Whether it be largemouth, spots, big smallies like this one. Incredible. And his bait company isn't too bad either. <laughs> True Bass Swim Baits put a lot of fish in the boat for us this week. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave any likes and comments below. Let me know what you thought of our fish catches. What an awesome time. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.